Community Committee, uh, but I'm happy to have further discussions with you on that. If you, that, that yeah. local board members have been very, very active in their communities in regard to the Great War commemorations, yeah. and I think, as I said, a, a jamming that into another committee of the whole is not going to give the Great War the respect or the, the sacrifices of the Great War the respect that, that they deserve. And I think um, it's something that local boards um, joined in and participated in with some enthusiasm, reflecting the concerns and the aspirations, the sentiments of their local communities. So I, I ask you not to close the door on, on a joint approach to that. Okay, I, I'm certainly happy to give further consideration to that. Um, there is nobody around this table that would not want to show the utmost respect to those that uh, gave their lives uh, for their country in both the Great War and subsequent wars. Um, I'll, I'll ask for further information on that Thank and uh, happy to receive further information from you, Councillor, if, uh, if you'd like to forward that to me. Uh, can I move now to item number 17? Uh, which is to make appointments to the to local government New Zealand and uh, ask Warwick McNaughton please to uh, comment on that and then we'll see if there's further questions to him. Thank you, Your Worship. Uh, many members here will be uh, very much aware of the work of local government New Zealand. Uh, for those uh, members who are new uh, to the local government scene, there is uh, a fairly full description in the report about how it works. Uh, the key entities in the local government New Zealand structure um, is local government New Zealand itself. It's an incorporated society legally. Uh, it has uh, as its kind of executive committee is the National Council. And uh, within the to to totality of the structure there are geographical zones, uh, there are sectors. Uh, Auckland Council belongs to the northern uh, geographical zone, uh, zone one, which is from our region right up to the top of uh, the North Island. Uh, we're also members of the metropolitan sector and of the regional sector. Uh, so the purpose of this report uh, is to provide opportunity for the governing body uh, to appoint its representatives to attend those particular meetings. Uh, the zones and the sectors uh, uh, in turn appoint uh, the members of the National Council. Uh, there was some discussion uh, prior to the elections with the chair of Zone 1 and interested local board members about how best uh, local board members may be able to contribute. Uh, as a result of those discussions, the proposal here is to suggest that uh, we invite local boards to actually nominate a, def a defined group of uh, local board members who will commit to and participate in local board meetings and which uh, having that defined group will make it a lot easier to brief members prior to meetings and so on. Uh, so if uh, we can uh, make our appointments of councillors at this meeting, uh, then the appointments, the identification of local board members will occur through the chairs, local board chairs forum. Thank you very much, Warwick. Are there any questions? Uh, De uh, Councillor Simpson. Um, Mr McNaughton, I've got a question around this annual subscription. I noticed that it is um, set in, in the agenda, it's 370,000 uh, GST inclusive plus the levy. Is that more or less than what we had last year? Won't be less. Is there an increase or is it the same? I think it's the same through, the, uh, through you, Mr. Chair. I think it is the same, and the levy came on top of it, but I will need to reconfirm that. I think it's important to know what we're spending our money on, Mr. Mayor. Yeah, yep, ab absolutely. Um, so maybe we can, we can check out um, how that has moved. And for a newcomer, um, and on that, just to know exactly what we get back from that and what it goes towards would be very useful from my point of view as well. So I, I think it's important that we're part of local government New Zealand I'm not, and I'm not we're an active that. contributor, but we, we do have the right, if I'm preempting <laughs> what you're about to say, uh, to make sure that uh, uh, the money that we are contributing is being spent to good effect. And would you like to comment further on that? No, I was just going to say, whether, if we're spending more than we did last year, we should, it should say, the report should say. Yeah. Uh, so maybe if you can come back to... Um, to councillors on that. Are there any other questions? Okay, what we've Your done... Your Worship, if I may. Um, I um, 17, could I um, suggest you will see on the 
screen that we have added a recommendation E. Um, I, I noticed that to meet Councillor Filipina's uh, uh, wishes. That's right. So, so I just wanted to. That's what you call prompt out. response, Councillor. Uh, <laughs> well, prompt recognition. Um, no, that's good. I'm sorry that that was an oversight uh, previously. So what we have, if we could maybe take the uh, the resolution as a whole, uh, in part A, it's appointing Councillors Hulse and Wayne Walker uh, on the to the Zone One. Uh, Division, uh, appointing myself to the Metro sector and appointing Deputy Mayor Bill Cashmore uh, at the regional sector group. Uh, D, confirming delegations to make other decisions that we might need to make um, very quickly without being able to come back to the Council uh, in regard to uh, appointments at the National Council level and appointing Councillor Philippina on the, uh, to attend and represent us at meetings of uh, Te Maruata uh, National Subcommittee meetings. So if there are no objections, I'll put those recommendations uh, as, as, a, uh, as one. Um, have I got a seconder yep. for that? Councillor Casey. All those in favour, please aye. say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. And it's carried. Uh, item number 18 is appointments to other entities. And uh, once again, Warwick, if we can ask you to, uh, to speak to this report. Uh, Your Worship, <coughs> uh, these entities are organisations uh, which have provision for the governing body to appoint members to. Uh, normally, uh, most such bodies who have council appointees on them are deemed to be council organisations and through the course of the term would otherwise uh, have those appointments made by the Appointments and Performance Review Committee. But, so this particular report is occasioned because uh, there are meetings coming up and we need to make decisions fairly urgently about uh, who's going to be appointed. So really that's just a rider for me to uh, make a disclaimer that um, I've combined a number of positions into the one report but I'm not really the expert on, on these particular entities. Great, thank you. Are there any questions? If not, we should probably, because we haven't. Uh, I... oh, no, sorry. Sorry. Councillor Philip. Oh, no, all, good. All, all good. All good. Thanks. Just one point to note, Your Worship, and that is because we already dealt with the Hauraki Golf Forum under the terms of reference, yes. we've taken it out of these. That's, that's good, thank you. So uh, the first, uh, again, if I move them together, but just to, to highlight. Um, the appointments, these have been made in consultation with the members concerned. So the Aircraft Noise Community Consultative Group, uh, Councillor Philippina with Councillor Denise Lee as the alternate. Uh, Councillor Simpson to the Auckland Town Hall Organ Trust, uh, which as she mentioned in her maiden address, she has a particular interest in. Um, there was a suggestion you thought there needed to be a second person for that. Um, I'll talk to you about that. Okay, uh, so we'll leave it for now. To be a yep. Mm. Um, Councillor Newman, maybe this is what I was thinking of uh, before, Councillor, um, that uh, to the Auckland Botanic Gardens, Councillor Sayers to the Kaipara Harbour Joint Political Committee, Councillors Cooper and Sayers to the Kaipara Moana Working Party, and to delegate authority to Rodney Local Board to make an appointment, uh, Councillor Denise Lee to the Mutukaro, the Hamlins Hill Management Trust. Uh, and delegations to Mangakiakia, Tamaki, uh, local board to make the other nomination. Uh, Councillors Cooper and Simpson to the Ngāti Whātua Aurake uh, Reserves Board for a term of three years and to appoint Councillor Simpson as Deputy Chairperson and to confirm delegations to local boards uh, as set out in Attachment A. Uh, I will move accordingly. Do I have a seconder for that? Uh, Councillor Watson, lots of uh, enthusiastic uh, <laughs> people on this one. Uh, all those in favour, please say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. And that is carried. Right, um, appointments. There's one, oh, sorry, Councillor, you... Yeah, there's one small committee that's missing on the, this list, which I gave to Warwick, which is the uh, joint working party at the Par Estate, so that needs to be addressed at some stage. I'm the representative at the moment. I'm happy to at, continue for the on. At the Par Estate, can we um, can we get something uh, uh, something up so we can deal with that uh, now? Maybe if I 
just leave that open and, and uh, come come back to that after dealing with the next item. Well, oh, oh, Warwick, you've just uh, you've just done that, have you? Uh, no, Your Worship. Uh, I think uh, the councillor is referring to the joint liaison body. Uh, that a particular appointment last time was was made by uh, one of our committees at the appropriate time, uh, so we could take that to, to the appropriate committee. Yeah, so that would be under Environment and Community. Ross, I'm sure we can uh, organise that for you. Okay, item number 19 uh, relates to the Auckland Council membership of the Tupuna Monga Authority uh, and the recommendation uh, as set out, if I read the three parts to it, Sorry, oh, we've got. Yes, sorry. I, I was uh, cutting out Justine and Phil, who uh, we're, we're making such good progress. I wanted to keep the momentum up. Uh, can I can I invite uh, our officials, please, to speak to this, and then we will follow the normal process of uh, uh, accepting questions on it as well. Tēnā koe, Your Worship. Um, I will be very Being brief in that case. So this report concerns appointments to be made by Auckland Council to the Tupuna Maunga Authority. The Maunga Authority is a co-governance entity that was established in 2014 through a collective treaty settlement with 13 uh, iwi hapu of Tamaki Makaurau. It's responsible for governing uh, the Tupuna Maunga or volcanic cones that are listed in the table in your papers, I think it's pages 82, 83. So it's responsible for uh, administering some of our more visible and visited landscapes in Auckland, such as Maunga Kiki One Tree Hill and Maunga Fo uh, Mount Eden. In terms of membership, uh, six members are appointed by mana whenua, and they in turn appoint the chair. Six members are appointed by Auckland Council, and they appoint the deputy chair. Um, we're recommending, uh, in light of the inaugural term concluding next month, <coughs> that appointments be made uh, now in anticipation of that, and we're proposing that we follow the same uh, same model as we did in the inaugural term, which is uh, three governing body members be appointed to the authority and th local boards appoint three members to reflect our shared governance model. So the recommendation for today is to uh, primarily to appoint <coughs> the three governing body members. Thank you very much, Justine. Phil, have you anything to add to that? No. Um, are there any questions? You will see that we have one vacancy and we're looking for uh, a volunteer to go on to that board. But questions, first of all, did I? I uh, um, Councillor Casey? Councillor Fletcher was on this body last time and I'd like to nominate I, her to. Uh, I again approached uh, um, Councillor Fletcher uh, and she indicated that she didn't wish to be appointed to it. I'd be happy to fill that vacancy if it's available. Okay, so we have um, uh, Councillor Crum who has uh, uh, volunteered to fill that vacancy. Um, Councillor Stewart, oh, sorry. I'd like to do it too. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm reverting. Uh, Councillor Denise Lee, my apologies. Um, it takes a while. Um, are there any other comments on this? Otherwise I shall... If, yep, if Councillor Casey. If, if Councillor Fletcher isn't on it, I'd like to be on it too, so there might be a bit of an election. <laughs> okay, we can. Uh, we, I'm, I'm sure we can do that. Um, I should check to see whether there are other, uh, any other councillor who would wish to be appointed to that body. Councillor um, Darby. Mr. Mayor, I'm on it. This is one one committee I have a, a, a love affair with. It's, it is just so delightful. But I do have a big workload, mm. and it's great to hear others putting their hand up. And uh, I. I, um, unselfishly, but uh, I, I'm happy to take my name off and leave it in the good hands of um, councillors Philip Piner, Denise Lee and very Councillor good. Casey. Well done. Very good. Th thank you. That's a very noble gesture from somebody who uh, clearly loved working on the committee. That's um, so I'll just double check again if there is anybody else that wished to be considered for this position. Gender uh, balance? Is there gender balance? <laughs> Uh, gender balance. <laughs> uh, I think we take the gender balance across the committees as a whole, <laughs> Councillor Philip Heiner. Um, okay, if there is no, no other interest, interest, I'll put the. Uh, I think I'll put the um, the resolution separately on this occasion. 
Um, I move that, uh, we, that the governing body agrees that the count Auckland Council elected membership on the Tapuna Monga Authority comprise three governing body and three local uh, board members. Do I have a seconder for that, please? Yep. Yep, Councillor Philippina. All those in favour, please say aye. 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 To the contrary, no. Carried. Uh, recommendation B, appoint Councillor Philippina.